Hello, thank you for joining us today to learn about machine translation at Google and how companies like Eli Lilly leverage it to globalize their content. Many multinational companies have multilingual employees and customers, and so they need to be able to offer information in many languages. And that can be a challenge. If you're interested in learning about how you can safely and securely use machine translation to help solve this problem, you're in the right place. I'll introduce myself and my co-presenter in a moment. We'll be talking to you today about how Eli Lilly uses cloud translation to translate content globally. To give you a sense of what we'll cover, here, here's our agenda. In a nutshell, we'll familiarize you with Google Cloud Translation and what we can do to help you with serving content in more languages. Then we'll switch gears to a company putting this into practice, healthcare company Eli Lilly, for them to tell us how they built their in-house solution powered by Google Cloud APIs to solve this for their people, including offering a demo. I'm Sarah Weldon, Product Manager for Google Cloud Translation on GCP. And in the second half of this presentation, I'll be joined by Tom Griffin, Translation Tech Lead and Global Regulatory Architect at Eli Lilly. As I mentioned, today we're discussing language translations produced from machine learning, often called machine translation or neuromachine translation. Google heavily invests year over year in advancing the quality of our translations across apps, cloud APIs, Chrome, and to enabling multilingual answers in search. We constantly pursue advancing state of the art in technology and linguistics. A popular metric for automatic quality evaluation of machine translation systems is the blue score, which is based on the similarity between a system's translation and the reference translations that were generated by people. While we push out incremental improvements for our individual models on a monthly cadence, there are also times when we make significant leaps. And that's what this graphic on the right-hand side shows. In the releases since late 2019, we've improved average flu score across our, across our models by five points across 100 plus languages on average, and seven points in those low resource languages. These are the languages that you see towards the tail on the right. Blue score helps our models with increasing the overall quality of the translations for our end users. The green that you see is the delta between our previous translation blue scores and the difference of what we delivered in the last couple of years. Part of why machine translation can be so challenging is the sheer volume of content and breadth of content types that still add value when translated into multiple languages like Polish to English for customer support or Japanese to German for financial news or Indonesian to English for customer reviews on products. Let's face it, in a globalized world and now more than ever a digital demand world, you need to help to scale and reach your customers right where they're at. From translating content for a pipeline of data analytics to audio content for your videos. Google Cloud Platform makes it possible to take the power of our machine translation API and bring it into your company for easily consumable pay-as-you-go translations or a platform for custom training your domain-tuned translation models. If you need to get started fast, we have Translation API Basic to translate your texts and detect language on demand in real time. Because our APIs are global, you can expect high availability and rapid translations to move at the speed of your on-demand content. If your content has jargon and it is a specialized domain like finance or manufacturing, we have customization features that you can apply to improve the quality and accuracy of translations from the APIs. And if you need to translate audio either real time from transcriptions, you can then check out Trans Media Translation API or combine our text translation APIs with video intelligence API or speech to text API. Let's say your company has more domain specific content and needs to be able to context fine tune machine translation to better handle that or to enforce specific terms like product names to be translated in a certain way. Translation API advanced includes additional features for you to do just that. And that's just the start. Translation API Advance also includes features such as glossy, 
batch translation of GCS, a newly released feature, which I'll discuss shortly. If you've created custom models for machine translation, we don't think that they should have to have multiple, that you should have to have multiple client libraries and multiple APIs to maintain in order for you to use the best model for your needs. So Translation API Advanced now supports model selection. Pre pick your pre-change models or pick your custom AutoML models for any language pair that you've created them in and use the same API for the same and the same client library. Additionally, recently, if you are a customer operating in the European Union, we recently launched an endpoint specifically for EU regionalization. This is a configurable endpoint for customers to store and perform machine translation processing of customer data only in the EU multi-region. For now, this only supports our pre-trained translation models and glossary. Batch will be coming soon. Let's talk a little bit more about glossary. Glossary is our terminology control feature. It allows you to import source content of preferred translations such as product names or department names. And then when calling the glossary in the API request, your preferred, preferred translations will be enforced. This will work for words as well as phrases. AutoML translation is a suite of machine learning products to enable you to build high quality machine learning models for your own use case or data with limited to no machine learning expertise or coding required. Bring your past human validated translations to your company to improve translation specificity and influency for your domain. For example, let's say you're translating manufacturing guides. They are likely written in a common style and include a lot of context specific translations. Like solution in English is referring to the chemical mi mixture for you and not a generalized tool that fixes the problem for the day. AutoML translation has a simple UI and handles many of the complex tasks for you, like algorithm tuning or maintaining serving and training platforms. Additionally, because they are fine-tuned on top of our general translation models, you'll already be starting from a very solid base, but it's all kept just for you within your GCP project. Now our most recent feature launch. Document translation of formatted documents is directly supported through Translation API Advanced. We're excited to announce this new feature for Google Cloud's translation services. And the feature allows you to allow customers to directly translate documents in over 100 languages and formats such as DocX, PowerPoint, Excel, and PDF while still preserving the document formatting. Previously, to solve this problem, you'd have to build into your developer pipeline steps, extracting the text from the original file, tracking and formatting just to let it go, or to have to redo it after you've received the, receive, received the resulting translations. This is a lot of extra work to develop and additional code for you to maintain. Now you can skip those steps and get formatting retrain and retained and handled directly for you by our APIs instead. This is easy to integrate with our APIs via REST or gRPC with your browser application, and will give you instant access to over 100 language pairs so that chatter user reviews can be understandable in any supported language. Document translation also works with the other features that are available on Translation API Advanced, including the power of glossary, and AutoML translation models, and even batch translation. So this enables you to both use all of your custom content to control terminology within the documents, as well as have all of the formatting retained. And just to remind you, you also still get all of the language quality improvements that we delivered our machine learning APIs year over year. This has really benefited a lot of customers um, and helped even partners such as we localize, which is a language service provider, deliver improved document translation for their end users. And now I'm excited to be joined by Tom Griffin, translation tech, tech lead and global regulatory architect at Eli Lilly. Tom, go ahead. Thank you, Sarah. 
Hi everybody, my name is Tom Griffin and I'm the translation tech lead and full stack developer on Eli Lilly's Translate project and I'm also the global regulatory affairs architect. So historically, translations at Lilly have cost us too much, they're too complicated and they take too long. And we found that a way to solve this problem is to provide ourselves with a code defined approach to leveraging cloud translation engines. So we created an API layer to do just that. So our translations have cost too much because leveraging multiple translation providers prevents us from benefiting from simple business things like economies of scale. Um, complicated translation process lead to, lead to long lead times in getting um, a translation turned around and back into the hands of our business partners within an acceptable time frame. And um, our application from our user's point of view currently looks like this. So the goal is that our users request a document or text to be translated. They enter metadata for the, um, for, for the translation task at hand, um, and then they send it over to our API layer, which governs the interaction between Lily and the cloud translation provider. So if you were to see this diagram sort of three to four months ago, over in the top right there, you would have seen multiple cloud translation um, engines. However, feedback from our users pushed us down the Google for all translations route. And we'll see more of that service in our application demo, which I'm going to run us through now. So this is our application UI. The Translate UI provides a simple method for our users to interact with our API, and is very popular for achieving a quick translation during day-to-day -day activities outside of integrating a system into the API programmatically. Users can translate text and documents, and I'll demo both of those services. For text, I'm just going to paste some publicly available information taken from one of our press releases into the text field, select English as our from language and Greek as our to language. Users can then copy their result to their clipboard. Our document demo is going to consist of a full press release in .docx format. Currently, we can translate PowerPoints, .docx files, .txt files, and spreadsheets in this way. Note how the application keeps formatting intact, along with any hyperlinks. Our API consists of three methods, one for text, one for uploading documents that are to be translated, and one for downloading documents that have been translated. Our text API is a simple one-step call made via a unique API key and can translate up to 5,000 characters at a time. Our download and upload APIs are both two-step APIs that work via temporary secure access URLs that exists for 15 minutes, and these are each also provisioned via an initial call that also requires a unique API key. Some other key points are that the application translates content in 5,000 character chunks, meaning a full document is never sent outside of our environment, and our data stores are wiped clean on a daily basis, meaning we never keep or have any access to any data that has been put through the application. In earlier releases, our API leveraged various translation engines based on the translation task at hand. However, feedback from our users led me to alter the API to leverage Google for all translation tasks. And since implementing this change, we've seen increased accuracy and a ramp up in usage across our enterprise. Leveraging the Google engine via our own custom API layer is key as it has enabled us to provide this type of automated machine translation to our users in a heavily regulated environment. So that was our application demo, and now we can talk a little bit about the tech that goes into creating such a service. So our front end is a Node.js tech stack that leverages React, Material UI, and Babel. Our middleware and environment, again, leverages a lot of Node.js, ping identity and OAuth for security across our enterprise and applications of this type. Um, we're using PSQL as a database solution, and we've created a lot of Python functions that monitor and um, kind of maintain the integrity of, uh, the integrity of our environment, which is, is things like um, preventing um, data from being held and ensuring that nobody, not even the application developers, have access to the data. Um, our API and backend is a full serverless managed stack, which means it can be 
quite easily pointed at different hosted environments. Um, we're using Docker to house our, a lot of our .NET and C Sharp um, text extraction functions. Um, Python, again, a lot of the data integrity pieces within the API are handled in Python and Node.js to actually leverage um, our cloud translation engine providers, which currently is Google for all translation tasks. So thank you so much for the opportunity to talk about this and I'm gonna hand it back over to Sarah. Thank you, Tom, for sharing with us the great work you've done at Eli Lilly. For those of you watching, for more information, see, please visit our documentation and blog posts for developer resources on building with our APIs. Thank you all for joining us today.